this is Mr. McGovern and this is the sixth video in the diffraction and interference patterns uh, series from level three waves. So we're going to look at what happens when we pass white light through a diffraction grating. So here's a beautiful picture from uh, an old exam of what occurs when you put white light through a diffraction grating. What do you get? Well you get the central bright spot as you can clearly see is white and then the next bright spots are spectra or rainbows and you've got purple or blue on the inside of those rainbows and you've got red on the outside. So why is that? So first of all, what is white light? And, and hopefully you remember from um, junior science that white light's a mixture of many wavelengths um, of visible light. Now within that visible light, with all those colors, red for example has a long wavelength and blue has a much shorter wavelength. So let's marry that idea with interference. Now remember from uh, earlier videos that interference is all about path difference. It's about the difference in the length of travel from one slit to a point on the screen compared to another slit to a point on the screen. Effectively, the difference in length of those two lines there. When that path difference is a whole number of wavelengths, the bright spot occurs. Now, the issue here is the wavelength of red and blue light is different, right? So, because they're different, um, we need a different path difference, or path, um, yeah, path difference, for this constructive interference to happen. And red light has the longer wavelength, so that path difference has to be bigger, and that occurs further away from the center. So red lights are on the out, uh, outside, and blue lights, because of their smaller wavelength, I um, only need a smaller path difference, they're on the inside of the interference pattern compared to the central spot. What about the central spot though? Why isn't that a rainbow? That's not a rainbow because there is no path difference. Right? It's the same distance from either slit to that center. And because of that, all the waves, no matter what color or, or frequency or wavelength, they all arise in phase and they mix together and they produce white light once more. And that's how we get that beautiful pattern.